guys, how's it going? So we are back down at the wall tent, uh, and now we have the rain fly installed. I took and put it on a few days ago, hadn't had any precipitation since, but had a thunderstorm roll through. There could still be some uh, patches of like scattered showers and scattered th <clears throat> thunderstorms. But the tent, after putting that rain fly on it, no issues whatsoever, made a world of difference. Having that little bit of extra overhang on the sides prevented even the walls uh, from really, I mean, getting wet at all. No water come through the bottom of the floor this time. So I ain't gonna fold back this flooring yet because I've got some pavers that I'm going to take and bring the four-wheeler down here and deliver uh, that I will be setting on top of the flooring where the stove's going to go. And at the same time, I'll bring the stove down. We'll go ahead and get, uh, you know, figured out how we want to install that. This time, I remembered to bring this IMI fan with me. Telling you guys, it makes a world of difference right now. I've got this whole thing shut up because I wanted to see how well this fan could circulate air where yeah where it's at like i found a couple of different mountain points to where i can easily you know position it and then i run that piece of webbing right there so that i can bring the fan down completely level with the back of this usmc bed net and just have you know air blowing across my body at night because we're getting ready to get into the cooler weather uh, tonight the low is going to be right at 60 degrees so it should feel really good having that air blowing over me and then you know sleeping inside that zip up wooby and then you know we got the uh, the beautiful fairy lights that i brought down here uh last time you know took and recharge them i think it gives a beautiful ambiance up in here and uh yeah i mean this wall tent build is coming along very nicely they're like really the only um the only thing is there's like two or three granddaddy long legs but like I said, the way those things have been this year, I'm surprised there's not more in here. It does sound like starting to hear a little bit of rain after the next two hours. Uh, we're not really supposed to get any more, uh, but, you know, we weren't even supposed to get the really hard thunderstorm that we got today, but mountain weather, what can you do? rearrange this but I think it is about time for some food because it's uh it's been trying to it's been trying to dribble again I took and cracked the door oh. right here's one of those I think these are British mess tins I got uh Two of these that go in a set together uh, from MRE Mountain, and I just brought a can of Chef Boyardee ravioli. I did mean to bring that British uh, mess kit holder, but I mean we should we want we shouldn't have to have this on there long since. Uh, we're just heating it up and this pan is you know very wide and large so I'm not gonna put much in here we got the front door cracked see how that does we can always add more 
three here. Situated. These right here are some matches from a French MRE and they Heat break it. It's a nice picture of the Eiffel Tower, I guess. God dang it. That puff of air just keeps blowing the matches out. We might end up having to just put more alcohol in it so that we, I swear, bro. And I can assure you, I'm doing the, I'm doing this very gently. I'm a, I'm normally really good at, ow, striking matches. Right there and dripping some down the side on the jets. The only thing I do. Oh, so I guess yeah, the thing that really helps is if you just take and kind of pour some right along the edge right there. Right there, that is a ridiculous number of matches for. That is normally not the case at all, and we know from experience we have to let that get caught up first before we set the thing on there so that it don't extinguish itself. In theory that should be good. And I believe these uh, mess tins like this are aluminum. I'm just trying to be careful to not burn any of this to the bottom of this pan if I can help it. It should be thoroughly cooked now. Tastes like stuff we already do. <laughs> and this tin did great. Like, there's absolutely no burnt or uh, seared marks right in the center where the heat was or around the edges where the sauce was really boiling up. So. I think like these tins are going to be one of the things, like one of the cooking vessels that I keep here uh, at this tent. Alrighty guys, it is time to hit the hay. We got just a slight 
bit of sprinkling rain about 30 minutes ago, but I've got my fan positioned there to where it blows right across through our head area. And it does feel really good in here. I've got the door cracked to let air flow, I mean, cracked a little bit to let air flow in. Cot seems to be holding up and holding in place just fine. I had no clue what kind of bug is flying around, but there's something crossing in front of the light. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my feet in this weeby sleeping bag here. Because I feel like tonight, with the dampness in the air, and having that fan blowing on me. When we get up, might be a little cool, which is more than fine with me. Oh. It just feels good to stretch out. Well, guys, with all that said, I will uh, see y'all in the morning. Good morning, guys. We are going to fix ourselves a nice cup of coffee. I got a leftover MRE creamer and having one of these uh, range meal bars. If uh, you guys haven't seen any of my kit loadouts, I've started including these. These are 700 calories. They make for a perfect breakfast. Uh, way more filling than uh, any other uh, granola bar or you know energy bar or whatever you know my brain does not work in the mornings but something very interesting just happened I heard something on the roof of the tent and it sounded like raindrops but I was like, there's no way there's raindrops and a forest mouse just come right down the roof down to the front door and shot inside here and then I look for it, but I think it's shot underneath and out the backside. But that is a uh, a worrisome revelation because I can't have anything messing with uh, messing with this tent or any of the gear that I will ultimately end up leaving down here. Like right now, the only thing that I, I leave the cot and the uh, USMC bed net in this chair. Uh, so I guess a mouse could attempt to chew through that but I might have to bring uh, might have to get some mouse traps and I guess set on the, the outside of this because I don't want to use anything with bait on the inside to draw 
get anything else, squirrel or possum or raccoon or something. Uh, but yeah, that's suboptimal. And I gotta say, that's like the first uh, forest mouse I've seen in a long time. But I mean, I've not left any food here at any point. So other than just smell or whatever, they they always seem to find their way. But yeah, like so, like this morning I was able to take and show you. I've, I've been testing out this new uh, Alpha Gear watch. It's nice having it. Just be able to flick over and see what time it is and everything in the morning. I can check the weather, you know, heartbeat, oxygen rate, all that good old stuff. It even tracks your sleep pattern. So. It's been pretty nifty to have so far, but we'll have to get it out there and beat it up a lot more. But uh, if you was wondering about the watch right there, then I'll link to it so you guys can check it out. So far, it's been tough rain, you know, hitting against things. It's been fun. And yeah, this right here, this is what that range meal bar looks like. It's just a solid hunk of, it's just a solid hunk of meal bar. Very, very dense. We're finally getting into the time of year where you can't be having a nice hot cup of coffee in the morning. So yeah, guys, that um, that's going to do it for this one. I put together this tent still holding up great. Just continuing to improve the setup as I have time. And, you know, it's an exciting process. Just got to deal with this potential mouse problem. So. That said, guys, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share the channel with your friends, family, and button. Joys, good old outdoor activities. Uh, if you're interested in gear, I'll try to link to everything that I can. Because uh, that is part of the fun. It's just, you know, discovering new, uh, new gear. And, you know, it might be something that you could uh, utilize for yourself. So, till the next one, fellas. Adios.